Welcome to the God Only Encouraging Message and Prayer Series. Messages from the Heart of God. So I help you know that you can come boldly to the throne of grace and receive mercy for your failures and find grace to help in good time for every need. That appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when you need it. Today was such a day for me. So today, I want to share my experiences and share how God works in your life to help you in every situation and circumstance. Today was a day of great distress, but God delivered me out of every one of them. I didn't know what to do, so God showed me what to do. I needed his help. It came upon me all of a sudden, and there was multiple things at once. The pressures of life for the moment seem overwhelming, but my God was overcoming, and he gave me all that I needed. And I want you to hear what he shared with me, and may it enlighten you and uplift you and encourage you to know that as I go over these scriptures that he gave to me, that he just poured into my heart and my mind and my soul and testified with his Holy Spirit in the Spirit, even when I was working on the projects and doing the things that I needed to get done, God was working on me, and I've given him all the credit and all the glory for helping me this day because he's my Lord and he's my Savior. And I want you to experience what he did for me so that you too can enjoy that overcoming victory and resting in him and the power of his might and what he does for you, even in times of stress and difficulties. The first thing that he showed me was that you have to always look to him. You ha- you can't rely on yourself. I start every morning praying, Lord, I just am fully dependent upon you, and I dismiss reliance upon myself and self-governance, and I empty my carnal ego that I may be filled with all your fullness, the richest measure of your divine presence, my body wholly filled and flooded with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, because I need God to be in control of my life and my everyday moments, knowing to what I need to do on a moment-by-moment basis. And I know that when I do that, I'm reminded of Psalms 91. One, that I dwell in the secret place of the Most High because Christ himself lives in me. And my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And your body, being a born-again child of the living God, is the hem- temple of the Holy Spirit. You are stable under the mighty hand of God, under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. You can say, the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I trust. Your help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth, not in a situation or looking to other people, but depending on God who can change in an instant the situation to help you do the things that you need to get done. For the Lord God will help you. Therefore, you'll not be disgraced. He will help you. Therefore, you can set your face like a flint and know that you won't be ashamed. Isaiah 57. You can relax in the Lord. And the Lord himself says he'll fight for you. Just stay calm and remain at peace. That's what I had to do. And be still. Letting his presence refresh and renew you. That's simply Exodus fourteen fourteen, and Psalms forty six ten. For the Lord Himself, the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, says to you, "Come to Me, return to Me, rest in Me, and you will be saved." In the quietness and in trusting confidence, you find your strength. Isaiah thirty fifteen. The Lord of Hosts is with you. The God of Jacob is your high tower and stronghold. Pause and think about that. Psalms 46.11 Remember, God never leaves you, nor forsakes you, nor abandons you. He's with you and for you. He is by your side and holding your right hand always. And when you're in distresses and troubles, he carries you. So that when you look back on the 
path of your life and you see one set of footprints, it's his footprints carrying you on those tough days like he did for me today. I'm always reminded that God is for us and he's with us and nothing can stand in our way in the name of Jesus when God is going for us. Each moment of your day, God never relaxes his hold on you and he never will. That's simply Romans thirteen five and Rome I'm mean Hebrews thirteen five and Romans eight thirty one. And then I'm reminded of Isaiah forty thirty one. Fear not, I am with you. That's God saying He's with you. Be not dismayed. Don't be discerned, concerned, worried, anxious, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Listen, all those who are mad at you and insist at you and are against you, they shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. And those who strive with you, they'll share, they'll perish. And those who seek to harm you and hurt you, you won't find them. Those who who contend with you, those who war against you, they shall be as nothing as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will uphold you and hold your right hand. And I say to you, because I am with you, fear not, I will help you. Isaiah 41, 10 through 13. Yes, the Lord is your help. Take comfort and be encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. He's my helper. That's who he was for me today. He's my helper and I needed him. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear or worry nor be anxious. What can man do to me when God is for me? God is on my side. That's Psalms 27, 1. And one eighteen six, and Hebrews thirteen six, and Romans eight thirty one. God has many people praying for you that you don't even know. I happen to be one of them. If you're a member of the body of Christ, or you're a listener to these broadcasts, because I pray for you as God directs me, and I pray for your family and your extended family, and even the ministers in the body of Christ, because the body of Christ needs an intercessor, and God has asked me. And I willingly do it. It's not even an obligation. It's something that I do, and I'm more than happy to do it. But because I do, I know there's people out there praying for me. And today was a day of victory for those who pray for me. Because the attack and onset was hard. Even the physical symptoms that came upon me because of the stress and the duress that I was under. God saved me and helped me. And he protected me. And I thank you, Father, for keeping your word and helping me in all the affairs of life. For though I live in the world, I don't wage war as the world does. For the weapons I fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds and imaginations and reasonings and every thought, imagination that comes against me in the name of Jesus. And I just thank you, Father God, for them. That's 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 5. A good friend sent that to me today to uplift me and share with me that that was what the Lord had laid on their heart. And I thank you, Lord, for your prayers. I thank you, Father God, for those who pray for me and for those I pray for, that you uplift them right now and that you help them. We all need your prayers. We all need you to take our wishes and desires away from us and give us your wishes and desires because you give us the absolute best. You gave us the best in Christ and you give us the best in all that we set our hands to do when we trust in you because you want us to see the best, have the best, to be the best so that people want to know who we are and whose we are. And we just thank you for it. I'm reminded, Father God, that in our prayers, we're taking part in each one's lives. And because we do, we can say, along with Joshua, that if one can chase a thousand, then 
too can send 10,000 to flight. For the Lord our God is he who fights for us, just as he promised. And he did, and he does. So be encouraged. If you're listening, because God is helping you, and he's on your side. He wants you to be in a vital relationship with him and know that all the things that he promises you will, will come to pass. That his promises that he just gave you in the reading of his word will renew your mind and help you to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. So be encouraged if you're listening. The Holy Spirit will pour into you these words and he will cause them to stir your most holy emotions. And then he will help you have a calm heart and mind because you trust in him with all your heart. And you lean not to your own understanding, but you say that you're weak and you need his strength. You say that you know he knows more than you do. And so you depend on his knowledge and his understanding who knows everything about everything. And he'll direct your path. So we just want to pray. Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus. And I acknowledge you as our refuge and our high tower. For you're a refuge and our strength. And you're our stronghold in times of need. You give us mercy for our failures and you give us grace to help in these times of need that we need it. And there's many right now, I just sense, Father God, they need your help, just as I did today. They need your help, Father God. They need that well-timed help coming just when they need it. So I ask that you give it to them, not on the basis of what they've done or what they have provided, but on the basis of your great love and mercy and grace toward them, which is undeserved. You just give it to us because you love us. And I thank you, Father. Then the day of stress and trouble, that you hide us in your shelter, that you put us in the secret place of your tent, and you hide us high on a rock, and you lift our heads above our enemies so that we can see and look and not be in danger, Father God. We just thank you that because you do that, we just offer up praises and shout thing of joy and thanksgiving and praise to you, for you are our God and our Redeemer. And we thank you for the mercy and grace that you show to us, and you answer us in the name of Jesus. On the authority of your word, Father God, the word of God, I declare that all those who are listening have been born of the Spirit of God, who have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. When they cry to you for help, that you hear them, Father God, and need you to live. Deliver them out of all their stresses and distresses and troubles and anxieties and worries. Because you're closer to us than our beating heart. And Lord, you came to be in the flesh. And so you know the stresses that we go under. So you give us compassion and mercy for our failures. And we thank you for it. I just ask that you deliver us out of all the things that trouble us, Father God. And that you receive glory and honor for. I thank you for being merciful and gracious to us. I thank you for watching over us. And guiding us and helping us in all the affairs of life. I thank you for we're under the shadow of your wings. Which we take refuge in. And we know that you help us in every storm of life. Just as Jesus was walking on the water. And the waters were turning up and over. And the people saw him walking on the sea. I just pray, Father God, that you speak into our lives right now to those who need to hear you. The words, be still. God is near. He is your peace and your comfort. Trust in him. Reach out to his hand. Take it. Take your right hand and grasp him right now. And he will give you his peace because he's with you. And he wants you to have his peace so that it can act as umpire in your heart to make all the decisions that you need to make in his peace. And Father, I just thank you for being our refuge and our strength and a present help and approved time to help in trouble. I thank you that we can relax in you, Lord, and that you yourself fight for us because we have given you our lives. We trusted in you as our Savior and Lord. And you're our Father. And you watch over us as dear children. 
and you want the absolute best for. So I ask for that force in the name of Jesus. We're fully dependent on your grace, and we don't let our hearts be troubled because you're in us, and greater are you that's in us than he in the world that would trouble us because you're our Father, and you come to dwell in us. We hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of Christ, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. For you've not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. We have the mind of Christ, and we hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of his heart. And we thank you for filling us with your great love and your compassion and your strength and your wisdom and your understanding to know how we should answer as we ought, redeeming the time and helping others by the God who are going through the similar stresses of life that we go through. So I just thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us. And I ask that you would help us to stop allowing ourselves to be agitated or disturbed and to refuse to permit ourselves to be fearful and intimidated by the voices and by the sounds that we hear, by the news reports and by the things that are going on in our lives, that we hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. We hear our Father's voice and the voice of the world. We just turn it off. In the name of Jesus. And I just thank you, Father, for making your presence known to us and living in us and being with us and giving us your rest. We thank you, Father God, that we wait patiently for you and you do all that you need to do in us. And just because you're our Father and you love us, that's the only reason you need and the only reason we can actually say that we can offer up to you. It's just that we're dependent upon you. And because we are, we know you'll do greater for us than we can even ask, think, hope, or match according to the working of your mighty power that works in us. Now to you, our Father God, be all glory and honor and praise. To you, be all glory and honor and praise, not only in this age and world, but also in the ages and the world to come. For you're our Father. And we love you. And we thank you for helping us in all the affairs of life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our helper. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Until next time, know that God loves you. I love you. And that Jesus Christ is Lord. In the name of Jesus, sleep well. Wake up refreshed and live each day. Independence upon God, knowing that he will meet your every need abundantly above what you can even think, hope, ask, or imagine, because you trust in him. Amen and amen.